Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm doing a winter hammock camp. It's quite mild, it's been a really mild winter and that's been quite disappointing for me because I love the snow and ice and all things like that. Anyway, you've just seen a bit of footage of me getting me tarp, which is a three by three meter tarp by DD Hammocks, um, DD Tarps, and also setting up my hammock, which is a DD frontline hammock. I've got my sleeping bag in there, and I've got a Gore-Tex bivy bag around that just to protect it from some moisture. Although there's no rain forecast now, it's been quite a bit this morning, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna stay nice and dry now. I've got some nice food, and I'm pleased to tell you that I will be joined by Walshy when he finishes work, and um, he's escaping a little bit earlier. So I'm waiting for him to arrive. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a, a chill out around camp. I've got a book about knots to read. Yeah, I am that interesting. Um, so I'm just gonna relax. I've got a good few beers. Walshy's got some nice beers. I'm gonna help him set his hammock up because it's been a while for him as I'm sure you'll appreciate, uh, those of you that have watched all the videos on the channel. So we might need a bit of help and support putting this stuff up, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm pleased and happy and relaxed to be back into the great outdoors. I haven't done a hammock camp for a long time, and I haven't done with Walshy. Um, I haven't done one with Walshy for a long time, so I'm really excited. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Hope it's a nice relaxing one, and um, we're gonna have a fire later, cook up some nice food, and it's going to be good, so stick with us until the end. So rucksack wise, I've gone with a Swedish Army LK70, which is an absolute beast of a pack. You know, it's not a lightweight hammock camp this, we've got all sorts of goodies in there, but there's nothing wrong with that on occasion. And I've brought some wood in as well, just to save the surroundings of where we are. It's in a patch of private woodland. But yeah, it's the LK70. I got this one from Military Mart. It's a grade A example, and it's in really good nick, and it's absolutely cavernous. I've got, I mean, you just can't fill it. It's obviously 70 litres, but uh, to fill that 70 litres, it's, uh, it's nigh on impossible. I've got a bit of a down jacket there, just in case it gets a bit colder later, but it's gonna be quite mild, so I've got absolutely everything. It's got this front bellows pocket, two side pockets here, and space for what's well, designed for skis to go either side but you can put all sorts so um yeah it's just a bit of kit it's really rugged you can take this into the great outdoors with you and um, not worry about it getting wrecked and it's just a really solid piece of kit so i've got that got a good boost selection on this one a nice bottle of red um those are beers we've got some nice steak and Bratwurst to cook up later. So I've been to Lidl, we've had a little extravaganza, so that's gonna be nice. And a load of their beers, which are which are really surprisingly good and very good values, about £1.29 per can, instead of going to booths where you need a mortgage. So yeah, those bits there. I've got some nice beef gravy just to just to put in the pan and heat up. But um yeah, really good. Glad to be out. So I'll just show you my setup here. As in previous videos, we've got the Henge Hammocks continuous ridge line. I've set it up slightly differently this time and used the two centre carabiners just to pull the tarp and, and balance it and centre it how I want it. I've got my tree huggers doing a fine job there. Coming down to the knot I told you about on my hammock video, which is a Marlin spike hitch. And then on my frontline hammock, you know, some people might think it's overkill. I've got these carabiners here. Um, so I was just trying something different. Obviously acts as a drip stop. As someone pointed out, Neil, on the last video, good point, if you're making a drip stop, make sure that that is underneath your hammock otherwise it's not going to do its job anyway I've got the carabiners so that's a it's a non-issue but yeah I'll just show you I'll show you inside 
Here's the relaxation chair. Let's have a little look under the tarp. Obviously gone a little bit higher this time. Underneath, we've got it's a front line hammock, army surplus, Gore-Tex bivy bag, Van Gogh Viper sleeping bag, which I've had for many years. It's served me well. Cheap, completable pillow from Go Outdoors, and that is it. That is it. Oh. Like I say, it's nice and relaxing. It's good to be back outdoors and we've got the whole day just to just to chill out practice a bit of mindfulness take it all in enjoy nature listen to the sights and sounds of the forest and the woodland enjoy some nice beers and um, have a good laugh one when Walsh arrives I'm sure so I'm just gonna make some final adjustments around camp get everything where I want it so I know where everything is and I'll bring you back a little bit later on when Walsh arrives got our Vulcan stove on this one by OEX you've seen that on a few other videos looking forward to using that I'm just looking for my lantern I've got a, a wood gas stove a small windshield some cutlery which I'm going to clip onto my ridge line so I know where it is at all times I've got some hot hands, some uh, disposable hand warmers, which I don't think I'm going to need on this trip because it's really mild, but just in case. Some Coleman Performance Gas. And I am trying to find my lantern. However, it's not in this pocket. So I will try one of the 3,000 others until I've found it. the good thing with hammock camping is when you've got your ridge line and your tarp strung over that and resting on it you can use that to your advantage hook your things like lanterns cutlery any bits and pieces that you want to keep safe you can slide it wherever you want to on the ridge line and um, it just just demonstrates the versatility of hammock camping it's really good and that'll do me for later a goal zero micro lighthouse micro rechargeable lantern lasts forever it's USB rechargeable 
and it throws off a decent amount of light it's dimmable it lasts forever so that's a great bit of kit a little bit more faffing round around camp and um, shouldn't be long until the Walshmeister arrives we should hear the sound of the goat to announce his arrival we'll, uh, we'll keep our ears ears peeled for that one Right, first time I've sat down and been able to relax. So, um, and it's nice. Just take the old weight off the legs, but we'll start on the first beer now. <clears throat> the plunged orange pale ale. Um, I was thinking, I watched, people that watch this channel will know, I'm a big fan of Hayes Outdoors. <coughs> that was one of the first channels which got me, uh, got me inspired to, well, not go outdoors, but buy a GoPro and start filming the trips. Um, but he said something on his last seaside coastal camp video where he was up on the cliffs, I think by where he lives. And he mentioned something which, yeah, it's provoked a lot of thought in me. He said about the fact that YouTube is just saturated with people going out filming themselves outdoors the amount of channels are just people going out filming themselves camping walking climbing mountains and it is saturated um, you know but I don't think that's a bad thing uh, I'm not saying he was suggesting that but it's, I've been doing a bit of thinking about what he said um, and it is there's just hundreds of thousands of channels of people competing for subscribers and sort of doing the same thing and, and when you think about it it's like well I've come out for a hammock camp to relax and the amount of time it takes to film set up your camera go and walk past go back get your camera um, and what is it that people like about you know particular channels we are all doing the same thing I totally agree with that but I think the thing that sets people apart I think you basically become your own brand and that's what people like how you are your, your your personality your persona and I think that's what people are subscribing for yeah you'll give out tips and people always appreciate information and tips and videos especially those that are new to doing things outdoors but I think essentially people are drawn to people's personalities and I think what they're subscribing to is the person the brand so you know MCM Outdoor Show, we are our own brands, we've got our own personalities, you either like us or you don't and if you do hopefully you're going to subscribe because this is us and this is what you're subscribing to, how we are, our brand, our persona, on how we do things outdoors and yeah there may well be hundreds of thousands of people going out hammock camping and filming themselves but they're not the same as me and I'm not the same as other people and I might not like other people and I might like some people and that's just how it is isn't it we take to people we take to people's personalities so yeah I don't think it's a bad thing we're all different we've all got our own personalities and we're all our own brand and I think when you subscribe to someone's YouTube channel you're subscribing to them aren't you as a person as a brand how they are that's my take on it I don't know what you think let me know in the comments below do you subscribe just based on tips content I mean there's plenty of channels isn't there if that's what you want to do but I'd like to think it's the personalities let me know anyway that is the uh, only deep and meaningful chat I'm gonna have on this video I've got to start limiting these especially when we're filming in 4k it uses too much of the memory card up but a nice plunge orange pale ale really nice it is genuinely really nice if you haven't tried that get yourself down to Lidl and just get a can of it £1.29 if you don't like it no big deal let me know if you have tried it what you think about it because I think that's great it's on a par with 
craft cans costing sort of three quid but it's good it's nice really deep rich um, like marmalade it's like drinking alcoholic marmalade with a bit of fizz to it so I'm just gonna chill this is what it's all about when you set up you can just relax take a look around enjoy it all hope you enjoy the rest of the video very quickly as well just look at that last clip back I'm not pregnant I might have a little bit of a beer belly but the front of this anorak is completely full of uh, stuff it's got an insulated pouch in with a load of camera gear and it's full of batteries so I look pregnant on that I'm not I'm not due for another eight months so um, that's what it is explanation done Say something that will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away They're haunting me so I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed I've got the uh SE3 with me on this one because Ant from Ant Survive the Night, if you're not a subscriber, check out his channel, has challenged me and others to make the world's smallest feather stick. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I've got in mind. I could try and do it live on camera now with that, but I'm not going to. I've got an idea and I accept the challenge. Um, I'm going to have a little go just to make my own feather stick because I've never managed to light one just using a, a fire steel so I'm going to see with some of the kindler but whether I can get some some you know set of light just using the sparks from a fire steel but and I haven't forgot about your challenge and when you see what I've got in mind I think you're really going to enjoy it and just to let you know I'm not competitive but I'm going to win Anyone else who wants to join in the world's smallest? I forgot the f name. F Anyone else who wants to join in the world's smallest feather stick challenge? Tell us in the comments below. Show us your pictures. Come and join our Facebook group and upload a small clip via your phone of your feather stick. And um, I'm sure the winner will receive some kind of accolade so get on board with that one world's fullest feathers feather stick challenge it's going to be good i'm going to try and make one now first time i've got nothing else to do so i'm going to have a go and i'm going to see if i can get lit just using a, a, a fire steel so we see what happens right so you might laugh but i've never done this before so it's a first for me i'm going to go at a feather stick so I don't know how it's going to turn out yet, yeah, I'm no bushcraft expert and I've never professed to be but we're just keen amateurs so I've seen people do it, my knife isn't the sharpest, I've never done it before and we'll just see if we can get it. take take a flame the weather forecast is nonsense it said it ain't gonna rain it's done nothing but bloody rain all day absolutely appalling all right I'm gonna see if I can get this in there just to take a flame but that's all right isn't it that's a feather ish well that's my effort anyway whatever it is what it is let's um let's see if we can get this to to take a flame and it'll be a first for me let's get that flame 
flat on there. Nearly. Come on, little feather stick. Uh, nearly did at one point. It's not like you see on all these bloody perfect YouTube channels, is it? First time, every time and all that. I'll keep going. Well folks, to say I'm slightly frustrated at the moment is an understatement. I've been trying for about an hour every time I leave the shelter of this tar it chucks it down even more and when I say every time I leave I mean every time I go out to try and light a fire stick again a feather stick it, uh, it starts chucking it down with rain it's been doing that for an hour and a half I haven't bored you with the footage of it because it's me getting really annoyed and uh, frustrated but I am very disappointed in the weather forecast there was no rain forecast from after 10 a.m. but it is what it is isn't it there's nothing we can do about the weather um, so if it stops raining again and the weather forecast becomes accurate I will uh, have another go and um, try and persevere with the fire stick but there's no point going out there with this camera it just keeps getting soaked every time I leave it so um, I'm going to accept defeat just for now and possibly have another beer Uh, As you can see folks, the goats here, what have we got to say whilst to the viewers? Uh, nice to be in a bit of fresh air. It's been in work for half a day, just left everyone to it. Yeah. So, got That's me work done, got out. We have a nice few beers, got the old uh, the old Weber back out. Should be um, cut me up some brats, but we'll uh, leave that surprise for a bit later. What's it like Ed's in the hammock for the first time? For what ages? Yeah. Well, what's it been now? A couple of years, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I can't really remember what I'm doing, but. You're doing all right. Say something that will make my day. Cause these memories of her won't go away. They're haunting me so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like cobblestone Oh, oh. Why did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed? know that she'd leave was that the naive to think that she'd be the one whoa why did she go i met her back in 2005 it was her crooked little smile that caught my eye time went by and it was her and i Go. 
Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I denied to think freak, that she'd freak leave? Freak AOX. Well, like a nice heart, mate. Oh, there's another. Where are the box movies at all, come on? Yeah. Okay. I think I've had that before, Common, common Grounds one. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, they've changed the camp. So hunting for dinner. Have you milked? Spread out like that. Yeah. Show the viewers what milking your berry is. Just when it's bunched up, you can a nice pull it. Rasp and just smooth it out. Nice, nice. Well, she's just milked his berry. I'll have to try it out in a minute. Are you going for the first sit on? I'm gonna light this fire later, right under. <laughs> oh, what are your thoughts? It's nice. Comfy? Yep. Yeah. Right, get the camp sorted out and let's get the beers on and a fire on the go. Nice. He's happy, he's set it up, he's all done. Freak Ale Works, Phantom Pale Ale. This is a, a new one from Aldi. They've got about eight, eight new beers in, I'd say. Eight new crafts. Ranging from about 99p to about 129. So, doesn't give me much of a description, just tells me what the, uh, the hops are. So, crafted in small batches using Citra, Mosaic, Topaz, Ella and Galaxy hops. It's a nice, nice bit of a, uh, nice bit of cannage. Trophy is she, number. Is she a feisty one? She is. She's just troughed. <laughs> just removed it. Ah, the first one's always the best, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. Oh, a ten. I think it's a good sort of like seven, seven and a half out of ten. What is happening? Yeah, got a little hidden pocket here. Zip it. And there. <laughs> the penguin. Classic. <laughs> I reckon the last time we wore this was um Humbleside. Yeah, or La or Langdale. Maybe when we when we had uh, the Langdale win winter ones. What type of penguin is it? Emperor. Emperor. Red nosed penguin. And the little uh, tassels. It's <laughs> <laughs> Born then. Himalayan wool. Made by the Himalayan shape is this. Got it from got it from New York about ten years ago, something like that. And what have I got? I've got um hang on a minute. I've got a hen. What this hen? So the temperature just dropped. Don't know what time it is. We're gonna start thinking about getting the Barbie on soon. So, uh, what time is it? Do you think? Half oh, three, I think. It's too early for tea, isn't it? It's too early. Yeah, just as it starts going dusk. We should just put the lamb on. Yeah, we'll uh, barbecue in the dusk. I'm gonna save the rest of this battery for low light cooking. Um, but we just wanted to show you the penguin. It's famous. Could do the reveal. Early, it'd be on an early video, isn't it? Yeah, it's Probably famous. Not. 10 years ago. Look at the nose on it. Eight, nine years ago. We've got some nice food cooking up there as you can see. And that's what it's all about when we get beer number four. <sighs> Plunged orange again. Plunged orange. 
the knee and log out. Fire up this one. Here we go. Oh, it's lovely this, isn't it? Whilst the plum's orange. That's the fresh one. Oh, oh, it's alcoholic marmalade. Absolutely divine. Look at that, just seeping juice. That's nice. That medium. That's nice that. Another successful camp done, in this instance a nice winter hammock camp with some very mild weather. Thoughts Walshy? Yeah, it's a nice one to uh, get the stuff back out, I haven't used my hammock and that in a while so nice to get out connect to nature and uh, spend a nice bit of chill time having a good, a good chin mag, a good relax. We've got a wild, com wild camp coming up soon in Eastdale. Yeah, Eastdale town, just yeah. on the banks of that. So, so look forward to that one. Yeah, just uh, from Grassmere, we'll probably park up there and then, then head up. Uh, nice, nice town, nice views. Yeah, so look forward to that. I've got a wild camp with Matt coming up also, so there's plenty more content coming up. If you like this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel and it helps the video. So take the time out to give it a thumbs up, obviously, if you liked it. Um, I respond to every comment, every constructive comment. And um, yeah, if you're not a subscriber to MCM Outdoor Show, hit the subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our newly uploaded videos. I'm trying to get something uploaded every week now, although it's quite hard, but I'm trying my best, even if it's just a product review. If you're on Facebook, we've got a closed group over on Facebook, come and ask to join that. It's full of like-minded people. Walshie's in there, Matt's in there, I'm in there, and there's loads of people who can give you loads of good advice on whatever you need to do with the outdoors. We've also got an official Facebook page, so like and follow that. Again, it really helps. If you're an Instagram user, we are on Instagram, so head over to there and follow the MCM Outdoor Show feed. And likewise on Twitter, at MCM Outdoor Show. Go ahead and follow, her, follow us on Twitter. Hope you've enjoyed this. We've had a great time in the great outdoors. It's what we love, and it's what the channel's all about. So go and write your own adventure. It's the hashtag I use. Get out there, get off the sofas, go and get some kit and enjoy the great outdoors yourself. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later.